it working? <laughs> Hello. Can you guys see us and hear us? Let us know. There is a little bit of a delay on the chat too, so. Yay, it's working. <laughs> Great. It works. All right. Hello. Hey guys. Good evening, everyone. Happy Friday. <laughs> Thanks for popping in and saying hello. This is our second live stream uh, by Man. technicality. <laughs> Made Man. a boo-boo last time, but we're here now, so yeah. hello. Howdy. Hey, up there in Canada. All right. What's up, Bernadette? How's everybody doing from Sweden? Good late evening for you. Good night. <laughs> Is it morning yet there? <clears throat> Kelly? Nice. Cool. So we have some seed giveaways planned. We're going to be chatting about some garden plans, showing off some of our plants, doing some pepper tastings. So. Yeah, we got some, some stuff planned. We'll show you just a few things here we have planned for the stream. Gonna be doing some giveaways. Uh, Matt's Peppers, I saw you were here. <laughs> um, Matt from Matt's Peppers sent us over a bunch of seeds and he was kind enough to send a bunch of his Mattapenos. I actually have one of his plants here. This is ours. Fittingly in a, a quirky little pot. Um, so that's the Mattapeno. We have some seeds to give away, so throughout the stream we'll be doing those every 15 minutes or so. Uh, we have a little timer here. Yeah. So we'll also be showing you our plants, as you can see. You can see a bunch of them already, but we have a bunch of smaller ones over there. So we'll talk about some of our plans and what we have planned for this year. Um, yes, it's white. So mostly white. Um, yeah, we have. There we have is some variability. Not all of them are white, but if you plant a few, you should get one that has white leaves. It's super cool. <laughs> What's up, Matt? Ryan, we live in um, Connecticut. Yeah, uh, northeast, northeast U.S. Um, so then we're going to try a pepper, or maybe a few peppers, but we have this Buena Mulata here. You can see these purple peppers. We'll show you them a little more in a yeah. bit. And we're going to do a taste test a little bit later uh, in the stream. But... And then just Q&A, you know, if you have questions, you can just throw them in the chat and we'll try to get to as many as we can. So, um, yeah. Yeah. So we're in zone six, six A. Six A. Yeah. yeah. Yes, it snows here. Uh, we just had a crazy snow a couple days ago. Yeah, it was beautiful. Yeah. Um, it's already melted, so that's good. We're definitely gearing up for, <laughs> for planting. So where are we starting? Yeah, so we oh, we're going to do, um, let's see, we got 13 minutes before the first giveaway, but um, I guess we should show off some of our, our plants, you know, even since our last stream, they've made some progress, so. Uh, yeah, so where should we start? I mean, let's. Let's show this guy, because I, I really like this plant. So this is a cayenne red ember. It's actually a, it's a, it's an F1 hybrid. So it's a hybrid variety. You have to buy the seeds from like a reputable supplier, but um, it's just loaded with fruits. I'm not sure how well we're gonna be able to show this off, but you can see there's some big pods in there. And I think a few of them are just starting to ripen, so. That was planted December 1st, so that's about three, three, three months old. Yeah. 13, 14 weeks, and uh, it's just perfect, perfectly sized for an indoor plant. Um, can't wait to taste them. So, hello from Lewis in Idaho. All over the place. Yeah. Uh, no, that's not three gallons. I think it's more like maybe one gallon. It's pretty small, uh, but the plant is doing pretty well. It's really heavy right now, with just loaded with pods. Um, we have our overwintered plant, if you tuned into our overwintering video. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> by comparison, this does not look too great right now. Um, 
So if you watched our overwintering video, this is our overwintered, uh, what's the variety? It's the, it's the non-spicy Chinens variety. I can't remember the name right now. Yeah. But it looks bad. It's been in our basement <laughs> where it's consistently, very consistently like mid fifties Fahrenheit. Uh, and that's just perfect. Like it stopped, basically stopped growing, but just threw off a little bit of, of foliar growth there. The other one, not so well, but that's all right. You, you win some, you lose some. <laughs> yeah, but this is just about ready to start transitioning back into our grow room. So basically we're going to do a video updating and showing how to uh, bring out a plant from overwintering, but basically you just bring it to a warmer room, put it under some grow lights and it should start to grow from all the nodes. There's some growth down here all the way along up. So yeah, uh, you'll be seeing that soon on the channel. So, and then we have our exciting crosses. Um, our CGN. If you tuned into our last live stream, we did show these off a little bit. Um, they've, I mean, they've come. Pick, pick that one up. Come I'll show a long this way one. since then, even. So get some nice pods. These are impressive plants. These are a cross between the King Star Lemon Starburst and the CGN Twenty One Five Hundred. We have six plants, and they're all very different, and they're starting to shoot off peppers. You can see one there. This is my favorite. You can see the pod there. Um, it's got this beautiful like lime green underside and then a pinkish hue on the top where it's where it has exposure to light. Um, so this is this is the front runner for me. We're just kind of waiting to see all of the different pods. Maybe we get some pods on this one too. I don't know if it's in focus here, but yeah, so. there's a couple there. It's gonna be great to see these come in. I mean, it's super exciting. Yeah, and I mean, look how vigorous these plants are. Um, for such a tiny pot, you know, it's pretty impressive and it's got that nice dark foliage. So this is going to be cool. We're probably going to take one of the, one of the more interesting varieties and bring it outside for the year and let it get big. Yeah. Um, and then continue the journey on from there. So the other ones we're just going to keep in the smaller containers. Yeah. Um, a best of sweet peppers video. Yeah, so we're gonna be growing a lot more non crazy spicy varieties this year so that we can, you know, share with you guys our favorite um, varieties that aren't overwhelmingly yeah. hot. <laughs> Last year we went overboard with the super hots and the year before that, I would say. Um, not that there's anything wrong with that, but you know, we wanna, we wanna experiment with the less spicy peppers and some sweets. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll go more into that when we actually have the plants growing. <clears throat> Want to talk about gnats? That's actually a good, that's a, that's a good <laughs> thing to talk about right now because this is the next plant we were going to show. And as you can see, we have some yellow sticky paper here. Yeah. And that's because we have fungus gnats. Um, so honestly, we're kind of learning about this ourselves now. We, we haven't really had a bad issue with fungus gnats, but... The first thing I'll say is the old wine in a cup trick doesn't work for fungus gnats. Um, yeah. Those are for fruit flies and those work great for fruit flies. But if you have actual fungus gnats, um, basically to, to, to take care of the flies themselves, sticky paper does a pretty good job. Um, we're catching lots of flies here. So that sort of interrupts their, their, uh, their growth cycle, their life cycle. And then for the larva, which they lay in moist soil, they'll kind of burrow down into the soil and lay their eggs. Um, someone just said it, mosquito dunks or bits. So yeah. So basically that's a chemical. Um, it's, it's, an, it's an insecticide, but it's, uh, it's, it's like a naturally occurring thing that they synthesize, but that takes care of the, uh, the larva. So. It's, it's kind of a, a tricky problem. We've been dealing with them for a few weeks now and we definitely still have an issue, but um, that's kind of the, the one-two punch. <laughs> yeah, we tried, I mean, the you know dish soap, we tried the vinegar concoctions, none of that worked. Um, a couple of our house plants had a bit of a problem. <laughs> for those guys, we just let them dry out and um, they, they're pretty good now, but 
that's the other thing, right? Yeah. Like water less. Uh, if you're watering every day, just let your plants go an extra day or two. Let that surface, uh, like the first inch or so, dry out. Yes, BTI. That that's the toxin that um, mosquito bits contains. It's um, I forget like an insect or something produces it, but they discovered it and um, synthesized it and made a chemical version of it. Yeah. And then other people also have recommended using a layer of sand on top of the soil too, but we have not. We Lots of ideas going around in the chat. We haven't tried cinnamon. Mm -hmm. um, cinnamon on soil, I know that's a fungicide. Uh, and it definitely yeah, works if you have yeah. fungus on your, um, like on your seed starting cells. Sprinkle a little cinnamon on there, it works like a charm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it works really well. We're talking about fungus gnats, and <laughs> we're, I think we're just wrapping up on fungus gnats. But um, yeah, they're they're nasty. But I think controlling them and sort of just dealing with them is is um, is enough. As long as it doesn't get crazy out of hand, just water less, use the sticky traps, and maybe get the mosquito bits. Oh, we, oh, we have a visitor. Our uh, our cat decided to come say hi. <laughs> She's. I think she's hungry. Yeah. <laughs> You've seen our cat in our videos over the years. All right. What's up, Dan? 36 kinds of hot pepper started. It's going to be a big year. Yeah. <laughs> so. Um. Yeah, so we can chat a little bit about our um, current our garden plans for the upcoming season a little bit. We have a lot of experiments that we're going to be doing. We're going to be, um, you know, stressing a couple plants to see if, you know, the pods are going to be spicier. We're going to be growing all sorts of different cayennes and jalapenos. So it's going yeah, to be let's, a great year for experimenting. We did show this last time. So if you were at the stream last time, you did see this, but we updated it a little bit. We'll just briefly go over. Uh, this is we're, we're, we're getting a 25 by 25 foot plot and um, there's some cool things. So, so we're growing 10 different varieties of cayennes, 10 different varieties of jalapenos. And of course, we're going to be documenting all this and, and showing that on the YouTube channel throughout the year. But I am super excited. We've never done this. Just to sort of narrow down which variety works best in each class. So which yeah. cayenne do we, like, is our favorite, you know? Yeah. And we love cayenne, so it's going to be great to just try all of these <laughs> different kinds. And then, you know, in, in upcoming years, we'll do it with different peppers. So it's, um, it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. And last year, we wanted more jalapenos. So this year, we're going to have more than enough and hopefully we'll just be giving them away because we have too many um so how do you guys keep your cat off your plants yeah we <laughs> close doors we have a door um <laughs> that we we keep keep shut <laughs> that we keep shut all the time because yeah. she easy. eats these things she would definitely very quickly. eat them yeah we've had issues with her eating them yeah the she um she's fresh but, so yeah she likes peppers too <laughs> She likes the leaves. And then if, if, a, if a rogue pepper finds its way to the floor, she will play with it for a while. Yeah. So. So we just keep her locked out, really, of that room. And if you have a grow tent, that's another great way to just keep, you know, your animals out of the way. Okay, so speaking of H2O2, um, someone mentioned hydrogen peroxide and soaking. Yeah. Uh, I think now's, that's a good segue into one of the tests we recently ran. Um, yeah. So <clears throat> we had some wild varieties of seeds and we've heard they can be kind of hard to sprout. I think it's the closer. Yeah. This one here is the... So we did some experiments. We love experiments um, with soaking seeds. Yep. And so we, we tried, we had a control, so we didn't soak. And then we soaked in black tea. And we also soaked in H2O2, hydrogen peroxide. And this is a really small scale test. Obviously this isn't conclusive in any way. Um, and maybe the seeds just didn't need it, but 
three out of four cases, the controls came up first. Um, and on some of them, we're still waiting for both the T and the hydrogen peroxide. You can see here, this is capsicum flexuosum here. Uh, that's the control. And then we have hydrogen peroxide, nothing, and T, nothing. And that guy right there is capsicum galapagoens, the Galapagos endemic um, uh, species of pepper. So that one's really exciting. It's very exciting. We tried to grow that last year and had no luck. So it looks great. And yeah, we've never soaked really in the past. So it was, it was just really for us to learn for ourselves. Given these are special seeds, kind of weird seeds, you know, we didn't do this with just a normal pepper variety. Yeah. So maybe we'll try again, but we soaked for 12 hours, diluted hydrogen peroxide and black tea, room temp, uh, and surprising results. So. And we are almost about ready to do our first giveaway. Um, let's see how many people are in the room. We'll do probably like one to 500. <clears throat> All right, so. A lot. Um, so. We'll do, so for our first giveaway, Oops. What's up? Nothing. Oh. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, we'll do it pre. Let's see. <clears throat> so, first giveaway coming right up. We're giving away some seeds courtesy of Matt's Peppers. This is the Matapeno. This is our little guy. Um, we have some seeds here. Matapeno, it's hard to read that, but it's also backwards. So, a pack of the Matapeno seeds from Matt's Peppers, mattspeppers.com. Very cool website for seeds. So for this giveaway, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a number between one and 500. 500? Yeah, and then before you put any guesses in, we're gonna have 30 seconds. Whoever is closest to the number without going over will win a packet of seeds. And we're gonna do a couple giveaways. So I'm gonna set a timer for 30 seconds. I'll let you know when yeah. to put your guesses in. And just one guess per person, please. Um, so I'm generating the number now and then we're gonna write it down. All right. It'd be great if I could pull up the timer app. <laughs> All uh, right. How do you write a four backwards? <laughs> oh, you're, well, you're giving away the number by saying that. Oh wait, I'll do it <laughs> Okay. All right, no guesses yet. There's really no easy way to do a giveaway on a YouTube live stream, so this yeah. is the best we're, we're gonna do. Yeah, we didn't play test this. All right. All right, and starting on the count of three, you can start putting in your guesses. One to 500. One, two, three, go. Go ahead. Remember, without going over, whoever is closest to the number. And if you put your guess in before the timer, you can, hmm. you know, Put it in, just one guess per person. We have 10 seconds left. Seven seconds Pick left. Pick a number, one to 500, quick. <laughs> All right, time is up. So the number that was generated. Yeah, let's see if I did that right. Oh my gosh. All right, so it was 356. Yep. What, what is, <laughs> we have to there write it, it backwards because the camera's flipped. Yep, and I think we had a we 351. Had somebody, we had somebody really close. I saw a 351. Um, oh, 352. I think that's it. I think that's it too, but we gotta be sure. Yep. Yeah, who was that? Ruben Dorper. Looks like Ruben, you won. So we're gonna do more giveaways too, so you'll have more chances to win. Yep. Um, but we're going to leave our email below. Ruben, just shoot us an email. Hello at peppergeek.com. Right. And we'll Let's get you some seeds. There. Yeah, we'll write that down. And we have about 14 minutes till the next giveaway. Congrats. So Alexis said she had 350s. Did Alexis say that? Had to be before the. I know. We're gonna scroll through the chat just to make sure, but. Maybe we do 10 seconds? 
on the next one. <laughs> Sorry, if you if you had 356, then of course. Yeah, we'll scroll through, and of course, we can get you. Some this seats is a as lot well. of a lot of numbers. Yeah, there's really no perfect way. If anybody has any ideas on how to do a live stream giveaway more, yeah. you know, effectively, we really want to do these giveaways. And the last time we live streamed, we were not public, so it was a little more manageable. <laughs> yeah, there were less people. Um, three twenty-six. I yeah. Don't see it. Oh boy. Oh yeah. That's two fifty-six. Oh, two fifty-six. All right. <clears throat> They might be trolling us. <laughs> um, we'll, we'll go back through after. We don't want to take too much time up with this, but um, yeah. So congrats either way. We'll, we'll, we'll set that straight. So. Um, All right. What's next? What, what do you guys have going on? Um, we're going to do a poll too, to so you guys can decide what we're going to grow. Yeah. Um. Oh hey, oh, we have Corey Seward. Not sure if you're in here or not, but thank you for joining, Corey. Welcome to the Patreon. Um, yeah, Patreon's been fun. Should we talk about Patreon now? Since that came um, up. Yeah, for or a minute. Wanna... Like, if you guys haven't heard about our Patreon, we recently launched it. Um, it's been fun. When you sign up, you get um a packet of seeds. And you can kind of grow along with us with the videos. Yep. And yeah. Yeah. So tier two or three, we're sending out seeds and we're growing those varieties as well. So uh, we've been talking about it on the channel. So chances are you've heard about it, but uh, it's been really fun. We've already started uh, with the exclusive videos. We started our seeds and they've sprouted. So we showed off the plants uh, over on Patreon. And next step's gonna be fertilizing and talking about watering seedlings and those sorts of things, sort of, you know, really getting into the nitty gritty of our, our, our methods and whatnot. And of course, interacting over on Patreon's been cool too, so check it out if you would like. It's down in the description of this video. Yeah, uh, and thanks for checking again for us, John, for scrolling. <laughs> um, all right, so we have, we can do our, our poll, which, <clears throat> Yeah, all right, so we want your help. We, so we're growing a lot of peppers this year and we've already selected most of the varieties, but we have a few extra spaces and we thought it would be fun if you guys voted on a couple of varieties that we have sort of tossing, we're, we're tossing around. So we're gonna start a poll and we'll show you the two peppers um, that are contenders and then you can pick one for us and we'll grow that this year so um, We have not started most of our seeds have not been started yet We're, we're gonna be starting very soon. We do have some started the pa couple of the patreon varieties. We did uh, plant and This is them But yeah, these are the sugar rush and the scotch bonnets Which are looking pretty good so, all right, which pepper should we grow? Um, we don't have a regular schedule for our live stream. It would be something that we would like to do on a regular basis, but everybody in different time zones, it's tough, like we want to be able you know, there's a lot of people voted for us to stream at noon on, you know, a different day. So we want to maybe mix it up a little bit so other people can join that don't live in the same time zone as us. Yeah. Thank you. Hey, Drew. Food um, prices <clears> suck. <throat> yeah. <laughs> right. Did you, did, you, did you answer this one? What's the best way to share pictures? I didn't. Um, if you want to share pictures with us, you, the best way to do it is just to shoot us an email. So it's hello at Pepper Geek. Um, we also have the Reddit community. Yeah, I was going to say the Reddit community might be, you yeah. know, you might get feedback from other growers as well over on our, our new subreddit, Pepper Geek. Um, um, it's already been pretty active this year. So check out that if you, you know, want some more feedback other than just 
because we get a lot of emails. Yeah. So, yeah, let's talk about these two peppers. So, Jay's Peach Ghost Scorpion, we did grow this in the past. Um, and it was awesome, as you can see. That's one of the peppers that we grew. And then the other is the Scotch Brains Red, which is, a, I think, a cross between the Brain Strain and Scotch Bonnet, some type of Scotch Bonnet. So they're real gnarly. They're both kind of gnarly. Um, they're both cool. I don't know. I can't decide, so you're going to decide for us, hopefully. Um, but flavor-wise, I think they're both pretty hot. They're both super hot. Um, I liked the flavor of the Peach Ghost Scorpion. It was kind of like a a mild habanero flavor. Not super punchy, but um, tasty. Yeah, we do not have a Discord. Um, with the, the Facebook, the Reddit, the Patreon, YouTube, it's kind of a lot of platforms, and we want to be able to, you know, answer questions and chat with people. So maybe in the future, but right now we don't have one. Um, so I don't know how long to give this. Don't forget to vote. Um, we have 120 votes already. That's yeah. Does it show? Ever, does it show everybody who's winning? Oops. Like which peppers winning? Whoops. <laughs> oh, that's Sorry. our ebook. We'll we'll talk about that too yeah all right that's, well that's exciting so thanks for voting all in that now um looks like we're gonna go chase peach ghost scorpion all right so we're gonna grow that this year and it is going to have its own little spot we have some extra space in the garden yeah that we'll put right here now so right here Jeez. Um, do you have a greenhouse or intention to get one it's definitely um, a big plan for the future. Um, we don't currently have one, so we, we can't recommend a brand or any advice for that. But we are absolutely looking to possibly build one. There's some great greenhouses with reclaimed windows. Um, yeah. I mean, I would like to do it right, you know, and, and, and like think long term and get a nice greenhouse built. Yeah. Um, but maybe in the meantime, we'll we'll do something sort of um, more budget friendly for now, just to just to sort of extend extend the season on both ends, because um, that would be nice here in New England. Tom, if you got the ebook and you lost um, some of your downloads, yeah, we can definitely reset those for you. Um, I would shoot just shoot us an email. Hello at peppergeek.com. We'll reset your downloads for you because, you know, it's a technical thing. It's totally fine. We'll chat about the ebook right now, really quickly, actually. Um, just yeah. because it's really exciting. We just launched the ebook and um, it's very detailed. I mean, it's, I don't know if, if any of you have purchased it. Um, there's lots of information, high quality photos. And we can scroll through some of them for you, just so you can Jesse, get an idea. thank you for joining Patreon. Uh, just popped up. Oh. Welcome. You'll be your seeds will be shipped out soon. Um, thank you. So yeah, here's our ebook. Finally launched it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Years in the making, literally. Um, so you you've probably heard us talking about it a little bit, but we just wanted to show you a little bit of it. So we're just kind of in the middle of the book here. This section is about pests. Good bugs, bad bugs. Um, here's a few pages for you. Um, so, yeah, we tried to cover everything that's involved with growing peppers, from choosing seeds, you know, selecting your varieties, to planting them, to transplanting, and everything you can think of, um, to pests and diseases and plant issues, harvesting, even a few things about using peppers, um, but. So, I'm um, pretty proud and, and happy to have it out here. Brandon, so, thank you for the super chat. I didn't know we could do that. Let's see. <laughs> so. so, Brandon asked a question. He said, hey, y'all, first time chatting. Was thinking of growing Carolina Reapers for fun this year. Sounds like fun. Um, eBay seeds, 25 for $4. Any thoughts slash tips? Thanks. Um, I don't... I, I mean, I don't know that I would recommend purchasing the seeds off eBay. Um, We've never purchased seeds off eBay, but 
yeah, it's it's sort of one of those marketplaces where you might run into issues with, um, you know, trustworthy sellers. I would just go with Talkerbot. That's the official source for 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 Carolina Reaper seeds. Talkerbot Pepper Company. Yeah. Um, just get them directly from there. And Tom McHugh, thank you for joining our Patreon. Um, so yeah, eBay is not, I mean, I would spend the extra couple bucks and get it from the, directly from the source. And then we have an article about how to grow Carolina Reapers on our website. So if you want to check that out, that should be pretty helpful for you. Pepper X, real or fake? That's a conversation <laughs> for another day. Maybe we'll have a designated live stream for that. Oh, you want to talk about it? <laughs> you want to talk about Pepper X? Um, also, really quick, um, we're doing just a quick little promo, 15% off the, um, with code LIVESTREAM for the ebook if you're interested in it. Um, it. It's just for tonight, and yeah, just to thank you guys for coming and for, hanging out with us. Yeah, for being our favorite YouTube watchers. Um, yeah, link, link to the book is right down in the description of this live stream, so you can know. Uh, so some people aren't getting notifications for the live stream. That's odd. I don't know why, but we are going to post. If another we're doing... Jesse, Jesse P. Thank oh, you for joining. Jesse. Patreon. <laughs> if we do any live streams, um, we will post it in the community tab ahead of time. So just keep an eye on that because that's probably the best way to be alerted. You know, if we have something coming up because a lot of people do have issues with the notifications. I don't know why, but. I mean, we are live, right? Yeah. Okay. So. That's the book, and thanks for all the new patrons, by the way. Yeah, um, that was... That means a lot. That's, yeah, that's And it's going to be super fun to sort of grow along with each other. That was the goal, sort of, you know, go back and forth, see each other's plants, and share ideas and whatnot. So, I think we should maybe try one of these peppers soon. We do have a giveaway coming up in two minutes. How much time we got left? <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll eat a pepper. You want to eat a pepper? Let's or... look at. You want to start here? Let's <clears throat> let's try a pepper. We can share plants one season, maybe. Um, so this is our Buena Mulata. These are not ripe. They're they're sort of this nice purple color. They're a cayenne. Uh, it's an heirloom cayenne, and we recently learned that Horace Pippin uh, also saved the seeds from uh, for these. I, I don't know enough about Horace Pippin to really give you a bio, but <laughs> he was a really cool Is guy who saved the fish pepper seeds, um, the Buena Mulata, and then there's this other golden honey sweet variety that we'll be growing this year. Horace Pippin, rock star in the pepper world. Um, Hunter Whitby. Whit Whit Whitby. Hunter, thank you for joining our Patreon. Welcome, welcome. <clears throat> All right. I'm gonna but go. let's eat a pepper. Yeah. Oh my gosh, which one? This one look good? That looks like one of the oldest ones. It's a big yeah, one. Yeah, that looks good. These peppers right. are so beautiful. They're, you know, definitely like one of my favorite colors, purple. I don't know what to expect with the flavor or heat level. Um, Buena mulata. Um, it's, yeah, that's the longest one. We're not gonna eat the whole thing. Um, we don't wanna be in trouble for the rest of the stream. So we're just gonna take a bite and try the flavor. Oh, that's true. We were, we were thinking of doing it later so we wouldn't be in trouble, but we'll, we'll survive, you know? It, it feels crunchy. Yeah, Samuel, it's like <laughs> really firm. It's not ripe. They do ripen eventually to uh, like a dark red. Um, <laughs> Dr. Pepper. That sounds like a good idea. We have another giveaway coming up in like three seconds, though. So we'll do the giveaway. All right, let's and then do a giveaway, the then we're going to eat this pepper. So, and we're going seed giveaway to... number two. You, you want to do like 15 seconds instead of 30? <clears throat> All right, yeah, this is going to be a quick one. So, well, does it really matter? Yeah, we're going to um, probably watch this stream after and look at your ideas. You A lot of you said using like a bot for the giveaway, which is something um, which would be great if we could. I couldn't find anything for a stream. It's easier with a, like a proper video. but So, all right. Guess a number between 1 and 500. 
closest to the actual number without going over is going to win some Matapeno seeds, courtesy of MattsPeppers.com. All right. All right. And on the count of three, one, two, three. Timer's going. 15 seconds on the clock. Put your guesses in. Don't go over. Oh, that was so close. Cool. Yes. <laughs> Someone was so close. And... That's time. All right. All right. The lucky number. 318 is pretty good. Actual number was 331. 331. All right. Okay. Um... So give us a second to so scroll I'm gonna through go these up numbers. From here because <laughs> yeah, because guesses coming in now are no longer valid. Um, three fourteen. A lot of three twenty five. A lot of really good close guesses. James Shaw, current front runner at three twenty five. Another three twenty five. Zach Westerman. Thirty-three. Oh, so close, <laughs> but you're over. So, all right. I think that was it. We got two winners. I think we right? got a tie with Zach and James so far. Yeah, three twenty-six. Yeah. Oh, Albert, Albert T. Barrera, three twenty-six. Sorry, there's a lot of numbers. Um, We're new to new to still going <laughs> up here. here. Three fifty. Right. 333 again. Oh my gosh, so close. Yeah. We're new to streaming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is so this at, least is we, at least we set it public this time. Next time we'll have a better system for the giveaways. How's that? So I think Albert yeah. is the winner. Albert's our winner. Congratulations. You just won some Matapeno seeds. Email us at hello at peppergeek.com to claim the prize. Let us know where we can send the seeds to get them to you. So congrats, Albert. Yeah. There is a slight delay with the chat, yes. Um, yeah. Yeah, try to update the stream. Like, you, you need to be perfectly live. So you can click a button that says live down at the bottom somewhere, uh, or just drag the, the playhead all the way to the right. This smells... So that you're actually live with us. I think it's going to be pretty good. All right, we're going to try... <laughs> show, me, show it. Yeah, try, yeah. try this pepper here. <clears throat> It's the exact color of Barney the Dinosaur. Yep. <laughs> All right, I'm going to slice it over here. Yeah. What? Yeah, let's just get little, like, slices. Like little saucers, maybe. Oh, it's white. It's like, hold on. You know what? I'm going to slice this in half so we can show... Yeah, we should show, like, a lengthwise slice of right. most of the pepper, maybe. Yeah, aren't they pretty? Excited to taste it. I don't think they're crazy spicy, but they're like a cayenne level heat. Oh, cool. So this is the inside of the pepper? That's pretty cool. Some milk? Um, uh, I well... don't think we have milk <laughs> right now, so. Ooh. Yeah, we don't. We're just gonna have to, I, I, we have cranberry juice and... We're gonna be fine. Yeah, it's, they're not that hot. It's just for flavor. It's not... I'm gonna get a fork. I'm gonna... Take this one. You will be fine. You think they're really hot? It smells okay. It smells kind of... I don't know why I got a fork, but... Here, why don't just... No, peppers are not hotter if they're not ripe. That's sort of a, an old myth. Um, you want to pick them right when they ripen. That's... From the things I've read, uh, mm. they're the hottest when they're perfectly ripe. Uh, so there's my little slice. Just trying it. There's a bot you can use and you put a keyword in and you get entered into a pool of names. That's great. We're going to check that out for yeah. our next stream because, uh, you know. Yeah. This, is, <laughs> it's not, this, this isn't, isn't going perfectly, but, but it's all right. All right. Next Cheers? Time. Are we doing this? Yeah. I guess stalling? We're, 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 I guess we're trying this. Isn't this isn't bad. Yeah. All right. Buena mulata. Yeah. Let's try it. Um, yeah, it's got it's, a kick. It's got a little kick. It's pretty good. That's like, like the perfect <clears throat> level of heat, I feel like. I don't know. It's To me, it's just kind of a touch of heat. Um, don't yeah. love the flavor either, honestly. I like it. But 
It's 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 a typical mm. underripe yeah. pepper flavor. It's vegetal. It doesn't have that like sweet smoky flavor you get from a ripe red chili, I think. Yeah, it's definitely vegetal because it's not, yeah, but. Dylan, oh. you don't have to eat the peppers. Give them, give them to other people. Growing them is, is like 90% of the fun. Um, How long has 90%. this plant been growing? Since December 1st. These two were planted, the all of these time. were planted yeah. at the same time. These two plants were planted the same exact time. Yeah. They so that's about 13 weeks old and it's, they should be ripening soon. Yeah, I mean, that's not bad. I don't know. Okay. You could cook with it. Yeah. I think I like it more than you do. Yeah, you seem to like it. Yeah, I like it's, that. Yeah, definitely not bad. Um, we do have another pepper that we were going to try. Uh, these guys. These are Piri Piri's, which we grew in our Click and Grow. We had a video about the Click and Grow recently. And I've tried these already, and they're hot. Um, way hotter than that Buena Mulata was. Like surprisingly scorching but really tasty it too so maybe we'll do that a little bit later oh i didn't reset the giveaway timer yeah we can do one more giveaway <laughs> yeah, we'll do one more like towards the end of the stream and then you know our next stream we'll give away some seeds and we'll have a better uh system in place do you guys ever feel it when you thin out your seedlings um yeah i mean yeah, we only it's, leave one in, in each seed cell. It's, um, well, this is cool. you know, it's, it's, you do feel it. It's like, you know, you become Tack attached. has been growing hot peppers in northern Japan for the past year, thanks to you guys. I successfully even overwintered them. Thank you for everything you do. You are very welcome. It's our pleasure, and that's super cool. Would love to visit Japan someday. <clears throat> Small piri piri, yeah. It's ominous, though. It doesn't look like much, but uh, they're like firecrackers. Yeah. We have one more poll for which pepper we should grow. <clears throat> Growing pepper cuttings. Um, we don't have much experience with it. We've done it, I think, once. And they're not, they don't. Uh, they do not propagate as easily as, say, tomatoes. So you're going to have failed cuttings, you know, so it's always best to take a few cuttings if you want to propagate your peppers. So, you know, take two, three, four cuttings and maybe one of them will work out and the others will fail. And then you just go with the one that worked. Um, so we're actually waiting on one now from this plant, this cayenne. Uh, it's been sitting there for like a month and there's no roots. So uh, it might be a failure. So it's just kind of a patience thing and, and just kind of hope for the best. Um, Devin asked if we were going to have a paperback copy of the book, and it's not something in the very near future. Unfortunately, publishing costs are super high, so to keep it at a reasonable price, it, like, it just wouldn't be possible right now, and we don't want to <clears throat> have to sell it for something outrageous. Um, so just the ebook yeah. for now, but, you know. Down the road, maybe, if we can figure that out. But uh, Glad to hear, Aaron. Thanks, you Aaron. like the book. We are excited about it. We worked on it for a very long time. So to see it come into fruition was... Yeah, by good. the way, Crystalyn is responsible for most of the designing of that book. So yeah, uh, we worked kudos on it together. to her on that. We, we, it was a joint project. Um, all right. You know, for ahi char pitas to be super slow growers. We found, we grew them last year, ahi char pita, and... It's like my uh, favorite pepper. <laughs> we actually, we have some dried <laughs> ahi char pitas right here. Yeah. That we've been going through. This is a dehydrated char pita here from last year. And they're still so good. Um, you can just kind of crumble one of these onto some food and it's so delicious. But they grow, in our experience, they grew just as fast as other varieties. So Daniel asked if you have a resource for the best peppers to grow by zone, which is a really great idea. I mean, if I, we don't really... We don't 
but I feel like that would be a very nice resource for the community. Yeah. Um, but I think it would require the community to sort of pitch in because we only have experience in our zone, mm -hmm. whereas we would need to sort of call on people from around the country and world to, to sort of pitch in and give their take on that. But that's a great idea. Yeah. It'd be cool to have like an app and then you put in your zone and it tells you all the best peppers to grow yeah. or plants, but. I would love that. Yeah. Even great. though we're only in one zone, but you know. Yeah. You can, if you, you know, you can grow in most zones. You can figure out how to grow peppers unless you're like in the Arctic. Um, then you're just going to have to be indoors. Mm -hmm. um, Let's see. <clears throat> so, do you want to do the next poll? <clears throat> yeah, all right. Let's. Um, just a lot of questions coming in. We do have a Pepper Geek form, sort of, Richard, um, on Reddit. It's just a subreddit that's pretty new. But if you go over to that, then you can post pictures, ask questions, and we check in there pretty frequently. So um, it's a good place. That to... might not have worked. Um, um, if, you copy, if you copy and paste that, though, you can. that's the, the link to our subreddit. Yeah. Um, and you can join there and post pictures of your plants, talk with other growers, and and all that fun stuff. All right. Uh, so, all right, yeah, we have a couple other pepper varieties that we want you guys to help us decide which to grow. Um, where did that one go? And for the next giveaway number, how many? Oh, okay, hey, Maisie. Hello from Wallingford. Fellow, Fellow nutmegger. nutmegger. <laughs> um, all right, so I'm going to put a poll up and we'll show you these first, actually. So these are another two varieties that we can't really decide on. A little background on them. This one on the left here, Kangstar Peach Star Kissed, is the peach colored Kangstar cross, crossbred pepper. Uh, super cool looking and citrusy. Uh, it's got that cool stinger on the end. And this one over here, we actually got some seeds from another grower. And I've always wanted to grow Dorset Naga because they're just super productive plants. You can grow huge, huge plants and just get a huge bumper crop. So help us decide here. I'm going to put a, a poll up in the chat. <clears throat> and okay vote on the poll help us decide which should we grow up um, these yeah. are the options so what else we got Star. Or both. Well, I know. I mean, <laughs> we would love to, but we're we we planned so many already that uh, we we kind of have to narrow down. We have to force ourselves to to pick one. Ooh, this one's close. This poll is coming in real close. Yeah. Showing zero vote. Okay, you might need to skip ahead. Oh no, that's, yeah. I don't know if it shows zero votes until they're all, until it's closed, but eh, they're, they're coming in. I found the peach sweeter and less spicy than the lemon. Hmm. I do love a yellow uh, Chinens variety. I just love the oranges and yellows. They're always so delicious. Um, Wow, Dorset Naga is ahead, fifty-three percent. <laughs> this is a close one. Forty-seven percent. I don't know when to let when to let this go. So we'll we'll give it a couple more minutes. <clears throat> Have I given Crystal chocolate covered peppers <laughs> for Valentine's Day? I don't know if that would be. It's a great idea. <laughs> and and not say that they're peppers or say that they're peppers. We'll mm. See, you know, our our friend actually gave us some spicy chocolate. That was phenomenal. Oh, that was so good. 
You know what it was from? It was from the company that makes one of our favorite hot sauce. Oh, Mellow. Mellow Habanero. Mellow yeah. Habanero makes a really good hot sauce, and they make these chocolates that are spicy, not crazy this, spicy. This is, one of, this is one of their hot sauces. But they're absolutely delicious. Yeah, they make some chocolates that are. It's almost like fudge consistency, and there's yeah. perfect amount of uh, heat. All right, let's see who won the poll here. <clears throat> thrips. Um, Joe's asking about thrips. I think he's been asking for a while. Um, quickly on thrips. Uh, so they're tough. You know, um, insecticidal soap if you need to. You know, if they're if they're indoors, you're probably going to need insecticidal soap um, because you're not going to have natural predators taking care of them for you. But uh, if you're outdoors, try to plant flowers, uh, a good variety of flowers to attract beneficial insects. And um, yeah, so they're tough though. You know, insecticidal soap will definitely kill them, but it will also kill good insects that you don't want to kill if you're outdoors. So just uh, approach with caution there. Lace wings, yeah. Yeah, lace wings. Um, we're gonna be mm. planting a bunch of alyssum this year and that attracts lace wings, green lace wings. You can also buy green lace wings online. You can get, um, they're like the, the nests and you put them on, you hang them on your plant and the lace wings hatch and then if you have an infestation like aphids or thrips, they'll just start feasting and, and they can really do a number on it. Yeah, and it's, so. it's always better to attract those native beneficial insects too. A lot of people, you know, they buy ladybugs. It's better to attract the native ladybugs, you know, as opposed to doing that. But um, And so. I, also, I also heard t uh, today, I was listening to a podcast and... They were talking about how they, they'll plant alyssums underneath their tomatoes and peppers, um, sort of bottom prune the plants. And since alyssums grow so short, and by the way, alyssums are this, it's just like a flowering, small flowering plant. And you sort of have a ground cover. Instead of using mulch, you have live plants, which benefit the soil and also attract those beneficial insects. So I think I, think I want to try that. Yeah. I didn't tell you that, but. <laughs> you wanna, is our poll still going or? Okay. The number went down somehow? I am. Did somebody switch the? 133 oh, votes. That's interesting. Well, oh, percentages have right. changed. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's actually. <laughs> How did that happen? <laughs> that's, I, I would call that an upset. I'm surprised. Um, I was definitely expecting the Peach Starkist to win, but hey, we're going Dorset Naga. Maybe I sold it. You know, maybe. Yeah. That was a close one. <laughs> that was close. We'll have to. Oh, I, I did want to grow the peach starkness, but it's okay. I definitely want the, I'm excited about the Dorset Naga. So we'll add that to you. Uh, Mellow Habanero is from Japan. Yeah. And a good podcast to listen to. We, we like, um, the Joe Gardner podcast. Somebody actually posted on our Facebook group. They liked them too. Um, that's, a, it's just a, it's a great podcast. It's easy to listen to. If you have any other podcast recommendations, um, definitely tell us because we love podcasts. So it's a great way to, you know, learn new things just, from. Just keep learning, yeah. Yeah. Um, and it's just inspiring too. Joe Gardner, I feel like he probably gets hate. I don't know, but he's just such a nice guy. And um, why does he, he get you know, hate? I just feel like he's kind of like overly bubbly sometimes. But he's he's. <laughs> He's very genuine, and I really like his show. Um, yeah. He also has uh, he also has a, a TV show, which is really inspiring to see everyone else's gardens and how they organize things on their property and whatnot. So anyway. Yeah. Facebook so, up. Yeah, we don't. John, love that'd be the great. Facebook group. It's hard to. That'd be great. What did John say? He said he'll grow the uh, oh. <laughs> Starkis yeah. star, star for us. So. And somebody did have a great idea for the giveaway. Um, we'll type start and stop in the chat to mark the Okay, ending. yeah, that's a good idea. See, this is, we need you guys. <laughs> yeah, that's helpful. Um, flexuosum, yeah, we're growing flexuosum uh, right here. But unfortunately, we only have two sprouts and they're in the same seed cell. 
and you need to grow multiple plants in order for the, uh, I guess it has difficulty self fertilizing whereas other peppers don't need other plants around so um, hoping that another will sprout but flexuosum yeah it's if you don't know flexuosum is a species of pepper that is cold hardy it can handle temperatures down to I think 10 degrees Fahrenheit something around there um, so that's really cool and it does get colder than that here but we're gonna give it a shot and We're in zone 6A. <clears throat> and Aaron, if you sent us a message on Patreon, we'll definitely respond to you. But how are the bonkas? Five. They don't exist. <laughs> five, uh, five gallon grow bags. Yeah. We actually just got a bunch of those. Uh, last year we grew in seven gallon grow bags, and those were great. Um, but we're getting a little smaller so we can grow more plants, and they look great. So you'll be seeing some of those on the channel this year. We are getting snow tomorrow, actually, but then it's gonna be 65 degrees next week. So that's New England for you. And we're excited to get yeah. outside and we are going to be building a couple garden beds, um, hunting down cedar, lumber was fun. I think somebody, yeah. I think Will said earlier that wood is very expensive now and it is um but we're going to be filming that whole process and sharing that too yeah. so and uh yeah we got some cedar today really excited about the cedar it's yeah it's, it's <laughs> we, a good find we tracked it down and um so we'll be building some raised beds um did you want to try the piri beers i'll slice them up for you let's do a giveaway <laughs> and then let's do one more giveaway oh it's giveaway time all, all right. right this is going to be our last giveaway of the stream and but next time we'll have something better figured out but yeah this isn't a perfect system but <laughs> we'll, we'll, it's a work in progress we'll make it right all um, right so we'll do the 15 seconds again we will mark in the chat when to start putting in your guesses it is a number one to five hundred without going over so price is right style <laughs> um yeah, so I'm gonna generate a number now and write it down. And then we'll say start and you can okay. guess. So one minute, we got that. I, I have so much difficulty with this. You don't have to write the number backwards. Okay. It's a challenge for my <laughs> Yeah, brain. it's you're pretty good at it. All right. Okay, ready? We're gonna put in the chat when to start guessing. Oh, I should get the timer here. Okay. <laughs> and Go. One to five hundred. Start. We have 15 seconds on the clock. <laughs> ah! All right. Four seconds left. Three seconds left. Two, one, and stop. All right. Perfect. So we're going to go through those. Okay. So we're going to look from here up. Sorry if you didn't make it in there. You want me to um, share the winning number for yep. the Hopefully next I wrote it right. Seeds? That might be wrong, is it? Backwards? Yeah, that's right. That's right. Okay. <laughs> there you go. There's the winning number. Let's see who is closest. 402 was our winning number. 369, 388, pretty close. That's Samuel Kushner. What was that? 388. Um, Matt's Peppers wants to win Matt Opinion seeds. <laughs> Matt, we're not sending your seeds back. <laughs> And then we're gonna try these peppers and Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna eat one more pepper. It's definitely gonna be a hot one. Alright. I think that's our winner. 388, and that was something Kushner. Did you write that down? No. <laughs> okay, let's see. Sorry, let's, I was 369, 388. Samuel All right. Kushner. Alright. Samuel, Samuel, congratulations. Um Wow, and someone two seconds later actually had 395. <clears throat> that's all right we're, we're gonna do more giveaways on our next live stream so yeah always um <clears throat> all right so i could hear you write a four oh. <laughs> that's Person. some skills um 
congrats. Yeah, that's a really cool pepper. The more people grow in the Mattapeno, the better. Matspeppers.com. You can buy it as well. Um, yeah, they're... over at Matspeppers.com. Let's show Matt. Let's show Matt's peppers. Yeah. All right. So, so here's yeah. where those seeds come from. Matt's peppers. Uh, he very generously sent these seeds for us to do it as we pleased and we give some of them away. And there's the Mattapeno. So that's what the winners will be getting. And uh, yeah, if you're interested in like, you know, weird stuff and open pollinated seeds, so you're open to the possibility of, you know, getting weird results or unexpected results from your plants, this is definitely a really cool resource. Lots of different varieties. I think he also has tomatoes and um, some rare fruit uh, plants and whatnot. So yeah, check out Matt's peppers. And thanks to him for sending those seeds over. <clears throat> All right. So I don't think right. we need to actually slice this pepper. Let's not eat the whole thing. I'm telling you, these are <laughs> these are gonna give us problems right now. It's gonna be a long night. We're gonna ruin our reputation right now. <laughs> All right. All right. This is this looks hilarious. Like these little guys here. Let's just find out what this is about to do to us. I'm I'm gonna eat like the bottom half of this. I mean. Um. I have an empty stomach. Yeah, we didn't eat so. dinner yet, so this is gonna That's be. That's okay. We can just end stream after and yep. be in agony yeah. by ourselves. All right. It does look innocent. Cheers, guys. <laughs> Thank you all for joining us. Um, in case we have to go, I'm just going to go ahead and say. Yeah, it's about, <laughs> it's been an hour, too. It's time flies when it you're. It looks so innocent. I know. Hanging out. Um, and we're going to post this live stream, too, so you can revisit it after. And we'll probably go back and read yeah. the chat and try to. Oh. And by the way, if you if you were a winner, don't forget to email us at hello at peppergeek.com with your your um, yeah. your name on YouTube and we'll coordinate from there and get you your seeds. Peer person. <laughs> well, I know, I have a pretty sensitive stomach, but we're gonna do this. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna do this. I do All love right. the flavor. Alright. Cheers, Cheers everyone. Happy Friday. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Such a... Mm. It's Such so a good, bite. though. Look at that little thing. Ooh. So flavorful, it's though. so good. Mmm. Really so tasty, hot. right? Um, <laughs> It's so, so tasty. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thanks so much for joining us. We will be doing streams. I can't talk. In the future. Um, yeah. This was fun. I think we'll, we'll probably be doing this more often uh, this year. Check out our ebook. Yeah. Um, we worked really hard on it. If you want to learn, you know, if you're new to peppers or you just want to take things to the next level. Yeah, that's hot. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> check it out. Link thing. is right down below. Also to our Patreon if you want to join us there. We'll grow along with us. We'll send you some seeds and you can grow those along with us this year. And yeah, we'll see you on the YouTube channel. So, Ooh. yeah. Yeah. What is that for you out of ten? Do you do that when you eat hot pepper, like <laughs> as if it even is gonna help? Like, <sighs> you know. I know. It doesn't do anything to wave oh, your mouth. My up. problem is the stomach, but. All right. Thank you. <clears throat> Thanks again for joining us, everyone. We'll see you soon. Bye, guys. Have a good night.